Hey folks, Engineer775 here. Um, wanted to show you my redneck solar mounting array. Um, as you know, I have cows and a small farm, and so I've got these cattle panels kicking around all over the place. And I thought, hmm, how can I make an adjustable array, a uh, seasonally adjustable array? And uh, again, this is just temporary. I've got some pretty cool gizmos I need to run off of solar and I need to I needed to get in a, a ground mount <laughs> hooked up really quickly so what I did is I just sunk four fence posts quick graded them in uh, made a hinge point and hooked two of the cattle panels together and I'm gonna mount uh, six solar panels on top of them and I'll have about an 1800 watt array here uh, this is for some testing. This is not a permanent install, and I can unthread, I'll unscrew, in about two seconds have this thing um, back uh, herding cattle. <laughs> but for now, it's my uh, low-budget DIY solar panel array, and it's fully adjustable. So if I want to pick this thing up and rotate it, you can see that I can do summer setting and I can do my winter setting it's pretty pretty strong if I figured if it can hold my my bowl in uh, it should be able to hold a few solar panels so we're gonna use some muffler clamps inch and five eighths muffler clamps fit cattle gates perfectly so I'm gonna use inch and five eight muffler clamps and clamp the solar panels to the cow panels and uh, we're going to get some power here. So I needed, uh, uh, for one experiment, I need uh, 1,200 watts of solar. And uh, so, and we're going to do some other battery charging. But this isn't my permanent array, but uh, it's something I can knock out in a day and get it up and running. So if you, uh, not that I recommend doing this. You know, <laughs> I've used the Schleder mounts. And those are the nicest ground mounts. Uh, look up Schletter, S-C-H-L-E-T-T-E-R. And um, those are the ones I recommend. I don't recommend doing it this way. But this is what I had, so nothing. I have nothing invested. Um, a mount this big would cost me at least $1,200 um, doing it, whether it's Iron Ridge or Schletter. So... Um, I got nothing, nothing invested here. Oh yes, I do. I've got a few bags of Quickrete and time. I'll show you the final result. Got some real nice uh, Suniva panels. The brilliance of solar made sensible. Anyway, got a not a full pallet, but I just got 10 300 watt. Uh, so 3,000 watts of solar here. And again, went with a Suniva. I think these are MVX. 300s, 72 cell, 24 volt nominal panel. So, anyway, I was able to get them for about 82 cents a watt, and that's pretty pretty darn good for the size of the panel. I know there are better deals out there probably, but uh, they were shipped to me within two days. Um, I was amazed, and uh, that's going on my array. So let's check it out. Again, I'm going to be using an inch and five eighths muffler clamps. I'm going to take this center section out, and uh, just going to some of the holes I'm going to have to drill. I'm going to use one of the existing holes on the panel. I'm going to set the panels upside down and do a little modification. So there's the first panel that we have mounted to cattle panels. So this is where solar and farming meet: <laughs> solar panels and cow panels. Um, and then in the back. Just doing our first one, make sure we get our distances right. We're just using, uh, like I said, muffler clamps. Everything clears, super tight, super good fit. Inch and five eighths muffler clamps fit cattle gates perfectly. So we'll do that on both sides and we'll do that all the way down. Um, got good clearance on our posts and then makes a good pivot at this height. So to uh, adjust the array is real easy. One person can do it one-handed. And I will put some little, that's the only strapping I had. I'd like to use a little heavier strapping, but we'll see how she does. If she blows away, then I messed up. But uh, again, this is a temporary setup, nothing invested. Okay, we've got all six panels on the uh, cow panels. 
They're all uh, muffler clamped on. And it's fairly straight and even. The spacing's not even because the panels, the, the gate spacing doesn't allow for that. But yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what I wanted to do, well, I wanted to ask you a question. Maybe you have uh, some better ideas for some DIY solar panel mounting, racking. Um, so what ideas have you had out there with either building them out of wood, PVC, angle iron, um, so let's uh, let's all share ideas on mounting solar panels because as uh, things go on and the electric bills go higher and higher and you know what I'm talking about that uh, we're gonna have to use more alternative energy methods there's no doubt about it and it's fun so uh, just use some fence posts muffler clamps four four clamps on a panel and inch and five eighths fits perfectly, like I said. And then um, I might do some posts that, again, it'll pivot. All the weight is sitting on the top of this post. I'm going to put a couple more straps on there. I'm also thinking of putting some posts out here as outriggers that I can uh, seasonally adjust. Right now, the weight's just sitting on some blocks. But for what I need to do right now, this is fantastic. So uh, there are 300 watt panels giving me 1800 watts power for what I need to test. So anyway, I look forward to hearing your ideas, oh, criticisms, critiques, of course, <laughs> and I'll be back to run some things off of these panels. So look forward to your comments and any of your creative ideas for mounting solar panels, because you know, a lot of uh, portable solar generators and um, just, you know, people, there's a lot of people that sell solar panels, but they don't help you much with the racking solutions. And some of the racking solutions are ridiculously expensive. Some of the top of pole mounts, um, one to do six panels would be, oh my goodness, probably two grand. So, and the cows don't approve. Actually, they do. I stole their panels. And so they're like, good. You can't use them to capture me. All right, that's enough. Let's, uh, let's hear what you have to say. Engineer 775 signing out.